Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel, and I'd like to say thank you to everyone for all the wonderful, beautiful comments that you've been leaving me. I love them. I love reading those. They help encourage me. Um, so grab you a cup of coffee. Today, I am drinking pumpkin spice in my new pumpkin spice and everything nice coffee cup. Isn't it just cute? I found this at my local Dollar General for two dollars. Yeah, two bucks. Ah, it's always nice to have a new coffee cup, isn't it? Um, talking about that, I did get a teacup from my secret sister yesterday. And, um, of course, I'm going to use mine for coffee. And it is just beautiful. So, I have a life vlog video coming out tomorrow. And I will um, show that to you. It's just beautiful. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about getting that out to show that to you guys. Okay, so um, I did get some mail from Hershner's. And um, I've got this 2023 pocket calendar. And I was so excited over this. Um, it's just kind of, you know, plain on the inside. But... You know, I don't care. It's the fact that it's got crochet stuff on the front that's exciting. Matter of fact, um, I have that same yarn. I wonder if it's the same pattern. I bet it's the same pattern. This now occurred to me. <laughs> okay, then I got this Hershner's Treasury of Crochet Afghans 2023 Calendar Instructions Booklet. And... Here is the calendar. And then this is the instructions. Really cool, isn't it? Um, let's see. I've been wanting to make um, an afghan. I don't know about in those colors necessarily, but where you got the squares different sizes. I've been um, interested in doing that. Oh, this very first one I plan on making right there. Yep, I'm definitely making that. Um, some of these I, I'm not too sure about. <laughs> That's March. What happened to February? Did I show February? Oh, there's February. Um, February, March. Here's April. That's pretty cool. And I guess that is mostly for decoration. <laughs> um, and I'm not too into circles like that, but I think it's pretty. This reminds me of a dish towel. <laughs> Still pretty though. Love it. Um, I would actually make that. Even if it does remind me of a dish towel, I'd still make that. That's pretty. And I love this one. I love this one a lot. It looks very simple. And I'm thinking to myself, why didn't I think of that? It's very simple. I mean, that's either all double crochet or half double crochet or something. Or some, you know, something similar to that. Very pretty. Um, and then, of course, here's this one. The September... Okay, so that one was October. Uh, look at November. And December's very pretty. Love, 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 love this one for December. So, um, yeah, you can just go to Hershner's and um, look up their crochet calendar and um, buy that. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think there's a phone number you have to call to get it. I don't think you can order it on their website like it's advertised on their website, but I think you got to call a number and give your uh, debit card or credit card or whatever form of payment. And this is what they send you. I think I paid $23 for this. But yeah. You get the instruction book, the calendar, and then a pocket calendar. I think that's pretty good. Okay, on to the next thing. Um, I made, I just finished, you know, the, um, what do you call it? The camping set for the dolls. 
And, um, you know, there's the Welly Wisher one, the 14.5. And you saw the 18 inch one. So, and then I made all the little pieces that go with it, little baskets and all that stuff. Well, the pattern for this week is a cute little cat. Um, uh, it's not a costume, but it's a cat outfit, I guess, to wear during the holidays. But I did make a little trick-or-treat bag. So, if you want your little dog to be cutesy-cutesy, there's your complete outfit. So, <laughs> so, I'm really excited about this one. It's at the testers right now. And hopefully, well, I'm, I'm sure these testers are pretty fast. It will be going out this week. So, yep. So, I hope you guys like that one. So let's go ahead and see the uh, some of the yarns that I used. Oh, and this outfit, it does uh, button from the back, has a little loop. I used big twist yarns for these. There they are. <laughs> for the handle on the green, let's see, the little handle, um, I did use my big twist. I did not have any lime green in my scrap yarn just for that little tiny handle. So I had to pull out my big yarn. Uh, this is called light green. It's big twist, 380 yards, 100% acrylic in these, and you get them at Joann's. Um, for the orange on the dress, this is varsity orange. For the black, it's just black. Um, the pink with scrap yarn, the white with scrap yarn. So, yeah. Um, let's see, what do I have next? So, I do have, like I said, I'm going to work on today. I do have to go to the church today and um, put in some labels in the software system. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to be creating the child size hat in this. <laughs> um, let me take it off over. I'll be doing this child size. And I will, um, let's see. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm, but I have to make three of these because I'm making them for some little girls at church. But it, since I'm making them, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the pattern up for sale so that you can have a child and a doll hat to match. So anyway, I'm doing that. And um, I do have two or maybe three outfits coming soon. Uh, I just got to get them worked up. One, uh, you, uh, you guys will be glad to know, is a turkey outfit. I know I have a turkey dress, I have a turkey hat, but um, this one's, hopefully it will come out the way I want it to come out, but it's supposed to be a cute little dress to wear in the holidays, and it's just going to be, you know, a little turkey dress. I'm um, looking forward to that, and um, the other thing is a pig outfit. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that. I know how I'm going to do the hat, but I haven't decided how I'm going to do the outfit. Um, it may just be a long one-piece pull-up. Um, with a curly tail, like I've done my cat outfit, it may be like that. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do that, I think. Um, but then I have another idea what I want to do too on it, so I don't know. But anyway, look forward to that one. Let's see, the turkey, the, um, the pig. Oh, uh, gosh. I can't remember what my other ones. I have three of them at least drawn out. Um, I think it's a duck. I think that's what it is. Okay, the colors are similar to a duck, so it may not be a duck. But yeah. So anyway, I've got three of them um, drawn out, um, but I didn't bring my paper in here. <laughs> you guys know how I draw out my outfit, and then I color it in with the colors. Uh, it helps me to visualize it. Of what it's going to look like. Okay, well, guys, that's all that I have. I didn't get a chance to work on this this week uh, because I was so busy on this, and I was just busy uh, being out of the house. So, uh, tomorrow is a life vlog, and it's just running around town, doing things with family, um, that type of stuff. Um, I may try to throw some videos of Knox. I kept him Oh my gosh, I videotaped. He was into everything. The boy never stops. <laughs> so I had so much fun with that, chasing him around and just watching. He's hilarious. 
anyway, I love that little boy. Um, so I may include some of those, uh, or at least one of the clips. I don't want to bombard y'all with my grandbaby. So I'll just include one clip in that one, um, of him, you know, getting into something. Cause I think that's the funniest of them all is him doing something that he can only do at grandma's house that he can't do at home, you know, that type of stuff. So, um, I'll include that. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and read our 365 days of prayer. Strength revealed. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. That's First Chronicles 29, 11. King of kings, the earth is longing and waiting for the day when you will return to reign forever. Let this feel like reality to me rather than the wishful thinking of a fairy tale of random luck. Your presence has changed me. I've tasted and seen the fruits of your kingdom, and I'm always left wanting more. God, everything in this world and beyond belongs to you. Nothing is outside of your grasp. I join with creation in its longing. Even in the waiting, I will find that your leadership is relevant to every decision I make. I align myself to you and your ways. Let your greatness, power, and glory be over and in my life, pointing directly to the Maker as my constant help and faithful friend. Lord, may others know who you are because of the way I choose to live. You are the joy of my life. I am yours. Where can you see God's power at work in your life? This was just beautiful. I love this reading today. Wasn't that wonderful? I love reading that. And I'm so glad that you guys love reading that too. So guys, I guess I will let you go. Uh, the weather's getting cooler, so make sure you drink plenty of coffee. <laughs> well, guys, that's all that I have for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed recording this for you guys. I looked forward to doing this um, and showing off the little new doll outfit and letting you know what I have in plan for next pattern. <laughs> uh, just remember, try to be awesome today and smile and live life and have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.